Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this wonderful webinar session that we are going to be having today. I am Juveria, your host for this webinar, and it is a pleasure hosting all of you on behalf of IFERP, which is the Institute for Engineering Research and Publication. This is a student leadership program on career after engineering, which is organized by IFERP in association with United Innovators. To say a few words about this webinar, Career After Engineering, it is intended to raise awareness among engineers about the importance of developing critical thinking skills, lifelong learning, and a desire to make a difference. To describe the present opportunities available to engineers, technical skill set required for hardware and software engineering profiles, the work culture involved in the corporate sector. So these are some of the areas that we are going to look into in this webinar session. Moving on, I would like to talk about our organizer for this webinar, who is IFERP, the Institute for Engineering Research and Publication. It is a non-profitable professional association meant for research and development in the field of science, engineering, and technology. IFERP connects engineers, exchange global innovation, and acts as a bridge between researchers and academicians by organizing international conferences, workshops, seminars and guest lectures, short-term training programs, providing memberships, and establishing chapters. IFERP publications have shown a marked growth in terms of global outreach, impact factors, downloads, citations, quick decision rates by the peer reviewers, number of submissions, and stringent acceptance rates. IFERP is a leading publisher of scientific articles in Scopus, SCI, ESCI, and Web of Science journals. Moving on to talk about our other associated partner, United Innovators. United Innovators is a research and development service provider providing all the end-to-end -end services such as PhD assistance, patent filing, UG, PG, and PhD thesis writing, research and review article writing with Scopus, SCI, Web of Science, UGC journal standards, and publications. I would now like to take this opportunity to give you about a brief as well about the session that is there. Before inviting our speaker for the day, who is Dr. Dilip Kumar M, to take the spotlight, I would like to give an introduction about him and his expertise. Professor Dilip Kumar is the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Nile University of Nigeria, Abuja. Having 20 years of experience, he has worked in institutions like UM6P Morocco, University Institution of International and European Studies, Netherlands, Berjaya Business School, Malaysia, International Teaching University, Georgia, East Europe, University Uttara Malaysia, Malaysia, MOHE and Ministry of Manpower, Sultanate of Oman, Symbiosis Center for Management and HRD, India. He has published over 170 research papers and presented more than 70 research papers in international conferences. He has secured several funded projects for ministries and corporate. He is the editor, editorial member, reviewer of several international journals, including Scopus journals. He has secured excellence in Academics Award ESN, Distinguished Professor Award ESN, Best Researcher Award GLCA, Best Researcher Awards ESN, Best Research Paper Awards in IPR IICT Conference, SJBIT Conference, and IPE National Conference India. Dr. Dilip Kumar, it is a pleasure to have you with us, and I would like to welcome you to deliver the keynote address of this webinar. Please go ahead, sir. Thank you, Fatima. Can you just start the video? Because it's not allowed. Yes, sir, we're just allowing it. All right.
I'm not able to get the video. Yes, sir. Just give us one minute as we are just sure. trying to start the video from our side. Sure. Just give us one more minute, sir, as we are just trying to have it started. Sure. Uh, Can you start, Fatima?
Sir, you can start now. Can you? Okay. Thanks, Tiru. Thanks. So I can see myself and the video also projected well. So let me start sharing a short presentation connected with the program. I hope you can see things properly. Yes, sir. It is visible. All right. Absolutely visible. So good morning and good afternoon or good evening, whichever the country you belong to. But specifically for India, it's good evening. And thanks for IFERP inviting me for this short interaction. And this is all about career after engineering. We know specifically that the terms when we are using it like jobs of engineering, career of engineering, these two things are totally different concepts exactly moving on. So we need to have a basic idea about what is the difference between these two terms, which are frequently used by uh, many scholars or many job seekers, job aspirants, and they interchangeably use it, but they don't have a clear cut idea about it. So the first, uh, maybe around five minutes, I'll be explaining that the differences, then I'm moving towards what are, the, what are the different types of specializations with which uh, we can expect different kinds of jobs and what career proportion is coming up in the ladder down the line. And finally, I'm connecting how much package you can get it from each particular type of these specializations of engineering. So if you ask me how you get it, this kind of idea just because I was working last year on 2021 20, years in the field of engineering in medical in management so have interacted in India or in abroad 28 countries different types of placements so with which uh, the, the kind of knowledge which I have acquired that I would like to share you now all right so let us have a basic idea about what all these care about as but one thing I missed is Fatima has mentioned about we are exactly talking about the work culture. We are talking about what you would say the type of skills required and likewise. But I'll tell you one thing. The basic uh, criteria is a kind of B.Tech degree or M.Tech degree, B.E. degree or M.E. degree. And after that, uh, these are the soft skills part exactly connected with a profession or a, or, or a kind of job prospect. So that I will be explaining the last portion, but my major uh, focus here today is to interact with you different types of specializations which are connected with engineering and what kind of job prospects you have and the trend exactly happening across the globe now. If you ask me 2020, maybe around 2020, just 20, 2019, 2018 and likewise, of that, that the scenario was a bit different. But in comparison with that, now what exactly moving on, where exactly the engineering scholars have to be focused, this I will be focused. So let us have this idea about uh, what a career is all about. When, when you look upon a lifelong ambition, I'm not talking about the short term goals of any human being or any engineer. When I'm talking about the lifelong ambition, of course, that you have to connect with certain courses, certain programs, and you need to ensure your long-term ambitions through uh, the long-term goals. So the long-term goals are different from the short-term goals. So here, we have to clearly have an idea about what are your lifelong goals, basically. So that should be clubbed together with the career of a human being, a career of an engineer. So here, when you, when you, when you look upon that aspect, we need, to, we need to understand which are the courses running across, which are the specializations in engineering running across. So a kind of special, special learning is very important. A special learning is required for a special type of career, and it's a lifelong ambition of human being. So you need to fetch your technical skills, your emotional intelligence, or your any kind of cognitive level. It can be technical, it can be cognitive, or it can be aptitude level. 
all the things to be streamlined towards that particular specialization and that is moving towards your lifelong ambitions so as it is mentioned it is a kind of special learning that includes individual components that develop abilities beyond that which training is capable of of course uh, what i would what i would like to tell you is that your your common courses which we are running through the five years duration or four years duration of your btech degree that is helpful for you to get the knowledge there is no doubt on that but what exactly make you towards the career track is the training you will be acquired that particular duration of the course extra training connected it can be soft skills it can be hard skills it doesn't matter but both these are working together at the time of your placement so uh, if if you are not ready to if you are not ready to what you would say to take the risk proportion then you are not into a career you are always into the job category so you get a job it doesn't mean that you are going towards a particular career properly so the person who is taking as much of risk which are which are closely connected and that will be leading basically to the lifelong ambitions so we need to understand one thing immediate level what you are trying to get may be the job but if you can fix your life goals well in advance connected with your specializations connected with the ground work you are doing connected with the research exactly you are doing on your career profession of course you will be you will be getting a job with a career but sometime majority i'm telling you in india it is happening like anything the nature of job is exactly not permitting you for a career movement and we call it as career plateau and you are in a stagnated mode so that create a lot of frustration so in order to avoid that frustration you need to have a proper long term goals of course you have the short term goals which are connected with the goals which are connected with your jobs basically but the long term goal is connected with the career so let us understand the term career in this way that it is basically a long term a long term goal but if you ask me a uh, income and career so lot of time you have to you have to initial stage and likewise you don't have that much of skills and aptitude and likewise so you need to focus on a lot of non monetary benefits your salary will be less so that particular time you need to focus on your learning bent in a instead of that a career bent a career bent will be coming later only it is not coming very fast you have to wait for it so years by years by years by years when you add up on that definitely you create lot of values associated with the learning process and you can contribute to the value proposition exactly that is expected by the industry so that particular time non monetary benefits may be higher in comparison with the monetary benefit because you got a job it doesn't mean that you got a career so if you want to get into that you have to show your commitment you have to show your dedication you have to show your hard work you have to work beyond hours you have to work under stress a lot of aspects lot of skills of course you need to have the ability to think properly cognitive abilities connected with your deliveries work deliveries or customer deliveries and likewise you need also have to look at your aptitude that fit into that functionality and you also have to look into the possibilities of moving towards acquiring through training the technical skills so when you connect all these things only the career uh, will be finally connected with an income income coming in the later stage but in the early stage of your job you won't be able to you won't be able to what you would say a uh, catch up catch up with your salary expectations but we have to make a compromise we have to make a trade off initially so the contribution to society when you look upon a career you can see that it may have high value connected with your contributions take an example the same society is building up you to become somebody so one day you have to look at that value proposition and giving back to society that is possible as one of the best engineers in biomedical engineering or best engineers in uh, connected with environmental engineering or th this will be going up like that so we need to understand that the career comes later but the job comes earlier so if what is the job what is exactly then job all means 
It's specifically we connect with a piece of work alone. It's connected with a specific task we have to function. And initial days after the completion of the BTEC, you will be getting a job, a piece of work. Within that piece of work, how you can get the learning, how you can get the learning bent towards taking high risk in life connected with the functionalities and you can enrich, we call it as job enrichment. How we can enrich the job, I'm not talking about enlargement, job enlargement that is horizontal in nature. Job vertical, it is indicated moving to the upper ladders exactly. So you need to know about how the senior managers are doing, how the senior technical staffs are doing, how the vice president is doing, how the, this is, these are the skills connected with, vertical connected with what you would say, the career orientation. So uh, any, when you connect with when you connect with job and likewise, it usually constitutes to put in remunerative work, means that you will get some amount of money. So your focus on job may be connected with money. So uh, you, you, you need to earn money very fast and it is a regular activity in exchange of payment. You are there for eight hours of work and after the eight hours work, you'll be going back. That eight hours of work will be paid by the company. This is the way it is functioning. So when I mean, you ask me the requirements of the jobs and like this, of course, this special training is not needed at all. You just complete your BTEC. So the campus placements will be happening. The companies, if, if you show that little bit, uh, you know, work suitability, we call it as job requirement capability match. Definitely you will be getting that job. So you need not, you, 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 doesn't, you, you don't require a kind of special training for that. So we need to uh, we need to we need to look at where exactly the special training needed. The special trainings needed where you have to get into the high ladder. So how the uh, risk and job is related? Here, when you look upon a job and likewise, of course, the probation period is there. At least six months payment you will be getting, and you don't have to worry about anything, and it will be moving on. But can you can you sustain that job? That is decided by the skills which I have mentioned to you now work under stress, hardworking, dedication, competencies, and connected with the technical skills, cognitive skills, and aptitude. And you, you are moving towards all these soft skills connected also, in addition to the learning curve. So we need to really look upon the jobs options and likewise, that is very short term in nature. This short term, of course, with which you have to learn a lot and that should be fetched towards the career orientation. So we, it, it varies by you know, the demand which is created by the job position. It may be less, it may be average, it may be very high. So it's all connected with your wage, basically, what exactly the salary you are going to get it. So it may not have high value as a, as a what you would say, a, a social change catalyst or an industrial change or some sort of things. You don't find anything, a kind of, many times the meaningness attached with your life goals, which you have fixed up it. So you need to look upon uh, the, the job, what you're getting before you get into that also, you need to have an idea about how the, how, the, how the particular job will be leading to a particular kind of career or lifelong ambitions. Can you meet it up in the down the line five to 10 years duration and where you can, you can find a value proposition towards that. So I'm asking you this question to all the engineers sitting before me. So if you can answer the yes questions, of course, you are going towards, uh, what you would say, an engineer, really, really, you are going to contribute towards that. If you are a person who, who are interested uh, in, what you would say, making society better, and you are very curious of how things work, you always have that learning bent. And do you enjoy the working with the teams and like with initial days of the jobs, it's not for the career, but it's, it's for learning from others also, mixing with, different types of people coming from different type of culture, maybe in the work team, self-managed SMTs, when you self-manage teams and like this, when you work in industries. So that particular time, your, your partners may not be from India, from, from different, different countries, how you can work towards, or that means achieving that particular goals. And are you, are you interested in the, you know, solving the challenges which are faced by this particular type of uh, uh, technical know-how related functions and likewise? And are you logical, well-organized? And could you be able to make some designs or envision some solution to the society? This is exactly we need to look at it. So here it is coming up into the picture of 
yes or no if it is yes of course you are going towards more engineering uh, profession if not you need to move towards a different level you can go for of, of course my my passion is not towards this when my passion is towards management you have to move towards mbas and then go towards uh, what you would say tech and la tech technology management and likewise you have to look into that or else you would be going towards more hardcore uh, what you would say technology driven professions and likewise so the career when you choose a simple btech people call them as engineer of course you would be getting a good self esteem will you feel proud of that but it doesn't mean that you are going to enjoy that particular uh, profession when you get into the job so maybe pressure on the part of the parents pressure on yourself you might have chosen certain uh, you might have chosen a certain type, particular type of specializations or you move it should not be like that what exactly you want to move and you need to position yourself life long uh, what you would say goals and likewise that exactly should be uh, a fixed at the time of completion of btech or after the btech you need to really 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 grill towards that and then only you can get to the career path so if you ask me being an engineer the pros and cons are so high so can make money options you got good promotions work in doors as engineer always in the industrial setting itself but except except construction industries and mining industries or some 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 changes are there but good uh, chances in job market in future working as an engineer is rather very much a uh, relaxed this is the feeling you will not have to work lots of our time all right free weekends are quite common for engineers that you don't have to work in evening or at it's not like that you have to work on different shifts also sometime many fields you can specialize in as an engineer can work for many different companies also you will be able to plan your life a lot of advantages but at the same time you have a lot of disadvantages also you often have to work with computer all long don't get the you cannot get rich because initial package won't be sufficient enough to move on you spend a lot of money for or your education taking loans and all kinds of things hard to start your own company also you cannot become an entrepreneur you want to, you thought that you can start a small startup when you have come, when you will be completing your what you would say uh, your engineering btech may not be able to so you need a college degree for becoming an engineer all right so a lot of cons like getting an engineering degree is not that easy you need to spend a lot of time a lot of skills to be acquired a lot of aptitude to be built up so you need to look at which companies it's down the line top 10 companies where i have to target what is the mission state of the other company and understand that can i match up with the vision of them uh, looking at looking in the locus of control the same said what are the skills with you what is the aptitude with you and like this is possible or not it's very challenging certain stigma for female engineers specifically i'm seeing also in india the female and the male managers little bit variations in salary also i'm expecting so is it possible for me to catch up as a female so it will take quite long until you see the results exactly so many time you may get lazy and at the same time they don't have to have that means any kind of relaxes this kind of things uh, being an engineer the pros and cons are there but if you ask me in us i'm 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 connecting you now with the global uh, it changes exactly it's happening now and lot of lot of specializations in engineering it's going to be it's going to be more fruitful in abroad and if you look upon the salary package of abroad career and indian career you can see big difference big difference and it's very lower end in our highly populated country why it is so because if you don't be there somebody else will be taking at that job so somebody else was same and we need to compete one is to 10000 one is to 20000 in india because most populated country but certain countries in abroad they don't have that much of population they don't have that much of education they they don't have that much of skills and knowledge base to take over certain jobs and there exactly your career line once you move abroad i'm sure about it your career is moving towards very 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 good companies with very very good packages and likewise so always remember a lot of uh, jobs options are there so i'm showing you some projections like uh, 2020 to 2030 you look the petroleum engineers architectural engineering managers airline pilots and flight engineers computer hardware aerospace engineers sales engineers and likewise a lot of specializations you can see over here 
the ranking when you look upon that who are the people exactly getting good amount of money you can see over here the career and money it goes together in certain type of uh, engine i'm not telling that others are not good others also getting good amount but in comparison with that certain type of engineering professions getting more amount but you can see that the projected 2020 30 you can see the change exactly the jobs it's moving up like anything in 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 thousands and in thousands and thousands it's moving up so the kind of percentage you can see very high petroleum engineers all these things they are very highly demanding jobs nowadays but it the same thing which is happening across so when you look upon we call it as non farm sectors and like so you, here you can see certain sectors are moving up like anything like the mining construction manufacturing wholesale trade retail trade transport issue. you look here logistics and supply chain where engineers are required a lot but here it has gone down as you can see over here in 2020 the change exactly it is why because because of the covid impact and likewise but you can see over here professional and business services but here you look upon there it has it has drastically gone down but when you look upon the overall of change in 2022 i'm not talking about 2020 now i'm talking to 2022 this has once again gained back the momentum so here mining and logging construction manufacturing you can see over here transportation and warehousing it's though it has gone but it's still managing properly here also you can see the tech application is coming over here leisure and hospitality industry because majority nowadays moving towards the website applications and likewise all right you can see over here and uh, other services service sectors and likewise data sciences have emerged into ml dl and nlp applications are going on nowadays and a lot of lot of service sector is making use of that one all right so when you look upon the change you can see over here in mining it has gone down it is gradually going up in construction now it is going up and in manufacturing also it is going up and you can see now in the coming days more and more manufacturing related uh, what you would say job options are coming to you i'm not talking about the career i'm talking about the job options job options means you will be getting good amount of money and you can move on with your learning bent and slowly 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 you can you can get into so here i'm talking about career after engineering so here i am going to tell you about every specializations now next to 30 minutes i am going to talk only about different types of specialities and how the market trend it is and how you have to what you fix towards that particular type of jobs how much income you can get it comfortably i'm not talking about uh, what you would say the big differences or something i'm talking about realistically in a populated country like india how much you can start with but i always talk about the average i'm not talking about the highest one so the companies are varied based on the company variations it may change also a little bit but i'm sure about it the starters they're looking upon the career they can when you look upon the industrial engineers when you global level around 93000 or maybe around 94000 usd you can expect in an year that is exactly industrial engineers are so they are engaged into improving the production based on improve efficiency uh, the, the production schedules process flows determining ways to improve efficiency all these aspects they are engaged into so they usually work with close vendors the management and likewise they they their movement they so they are engaged into the product design they are engaged into process efficiency they are engaged into product process optimization they are engaged into application of statistics computing application of six sigma and likewise 99.9999 percentage of accuracy in the process efficiency engineer economic analysis also coming up these industrial engineers are engaged into so the measurement working cost cost analysis cost of productivity and productivity management all these aspects when you look upon that they are engaged into that so the types of these industrial engineering industries they can focus include the aluminum and steel you can focus on that those companies which are coming into this sector materials testing ceramics electronics assembly aerospace and aeroplanes plastics forming shipbuilding entertainment all these areas 
inclusive. Now it's healthcare industries are going up like anything. Here you can focus into medical services, medical technologies and likewise. And other areas also, of course, you can focus into. So this is an area where you can focus towards industrial engineering and likewise. So the merits and demerits when you look upon uh, the initial levels of your entry. So you will be getting a good decent salary and you can work for business of all kinds. This is advantage of industrial engineering. You can work with automotive, you can work with aerospace, you can work with oil, food, architectural or navigational electronic or any sectors you can get into with industrial management. So the versatility, you can expect to work in different verticals. This is advice. So when you have to look at job, you don't have to look at these possibilities. You just look us on your specialization move. But industrial engineering like career, when you take upon that, you can move from one sector to another sector to another sector. So when you have to really look into a career movement, you don't have to stick on in the same company. You don't have to look into the same sector. You don't have to look into the same vertical itself. You can move, move. That's what I told in the beginning that the person who is taking the risk a lot to move from, they may be, they may be uh, what you would say, so much of confused. They, they, they do have so much of confusion on whether I should switch over from one industry to another, one vertical. But the people who are taking, they're getting the better learning from different, different industries connected with the same profession and they can move on. So here lies the benefit of it. So a lot of crucial decisions you have to take. So long working hours, all these things are coming into the picture. So these are some of the some of the disadvantages which I can talk to you. All right, but every every work, every profession has its own advantages and disadvantages. They're exactly we need to focus into. All right. So when you look upon the what you would say the trend, I can tell you the engineering average base salaries are going up like anything. You can you can count the red line here. These industrial engineers are going on, but here you can see engineering managers. So that people exactly moving towards BTEC MBA, MTEC MBA, BE MBA. They're, they're, man, they're getting the two types of skill set, either through the program of education or through their different types of skills they will be acquiring in a period, in a period of what you would say, uh, educations, extra certificate programs like SAPs or data sciences and different types of skills that they try to add up and they try to move on. So if you try to move from that vertical, you can see that you see over here, your package will be going up like anything. So when you connect with a career, many times, initial days, you don't have the adequate package. But I'm telling you, once you move towards you are, you, when you, once you fix your career goals and you are moving towards your extra learning, BTEC, MB, all kinds of things, then I'm sure about it, your career growth will be so high and your package also will be moving up. So all on a salary, I'm, I'm talking about, take an example, in, in initial stages and likewise, it will be moving up, but it is not giving you a kind of demotivation. Instead of that, this is a learning time you can fix your specific goals and likewise, and that will be moving towards the last one, which I have shown you. When you go abroad, India, I'm not talking about too much about the package. It, across the industries and likewise, you cannot find too much of variations, but you will be getting an average income, starters and likewise career to, towards the career, you'll be getting this much of package. So if you ask me the best of some of the companies, which, which they, the, the variation like Shahi or Gokultas in Bangalore or uh, Winstron, you can see over the, the variations of salary from 1.6 to 4.2 lakhs. This is exactly in an year. So this is also varied. Some of the companies giving good amount also. You can see our flex. They're giving 5.3 starting and likewise, the career can move on that. Jabil Secured or KH Exports, all these companies, they are exactly giving you a good, decent package. All right, you look FedEx. FedEx is providing 10.2 lakhs start starters pack exactly. So if you get into there, of course, they'll be giving so much of so many different types of trainings. And after the training and likewise, you will be moving towards different, different, different verticals, and you'll be getting a slow growth and growth and growth related to career as well as related to your what you would say uh, salary package. So we need to we need to have the patience, absolute patience needed 
if you're so impatient to get the package and you circled around the package initially, I'm sure about it, you're not going to get the right, uh, what you would say, career, or you will be stagnated in the coming days. All right, so these are all connected with industrial engineering. Now I have to move towards biomedical engineers. Of course, a little bit lesser, uh, you can see over here, average income that is connected with the US, but uh, in India, you cannot come very, it will be very less, but still it is movable. So they are into, they are into basically connected with biological and medical sciences, and they're into preparing the equipments, systems, and a, a lot of, lot of other areas like tissue engineering or uh, biomedical imaging or system, system physiology, uh, bio instrumentation or bio, uh, biochemics. We call it as biomechanics. So all these areas you can definitely focus and the biomedical engineers have a keen role nowadays because of the issues connected with environmental, environmental levels or different countries and likewise the plastics and all degeneration, uh, uh, the products which are exactly throwing out all environmental related things and likewise, it's, it's very high. At the same time, medical related also you can see over here. A lot of technological applications are happening across. So an engineer having the biomedical engineering degree with an orientation, if you get some good exposure and likewise, I'm sure about it. You can focus on these areas like interdisciplinary fields and likewise, biomedical engineering will be. That's what I told you, if you focus only on one area may not be, but if you focus on other options connected with the same speciality and try to go ahead with interdisciplinary. Now, the entire trend connected with engineering is moving towards uh, multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary skill set, uh, what you would say, environment. So that exactly to be focused yourself. So if you look upon the career prospects and like this, you can see over here, medical equipment and supplies manufacturing, pharmaceutical and machine manufacturing, then uh, navigational measuring, electromedical, all these areas you can focus into. And a lot of uh, industrial employment for biomedical engineers, and definitely they can focus into their career. Down the line, I'm telling you five to 10 years of duration, you can be an expert. At the same time, when you move towards this next to 10 years duration, you also have to look upon new technology or new applications, new apps, and likewise, you try to learn it. And likewise, parallelly, when your learning is moving on and your, your, your career connected with industry going on, I'm sure about it, you would be able to catch up your career properly. All right. So many companies, many companies are into this, uh, what you would say, uh, biomedical, biomedical uh, engineering field. Let us have an idea about it, which are the companies like LNT, GE, GEGR, then uh, Striker Global Technology, Deloitte, uh, Texas Instruments, Philips Healthcare, Orbis Medical, Siemens, Covidian, and all these companies, and they, they're all they're all required uh, they're all required biomedical engineers, and you can see that these companies are recruiting continuously continuously and you can move abroad they will train you in abroad also so but when you look upon the biomedical engineering it's all connected with manufacturing electronics and different 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 specialties also it is connected so that's what i told you you need to have an idea about uh, interdisciplinary approach only biomedical engineering or multiple related and likewise so when you look upon that you can be a career, you can get a career of manufacturing engineer in biomedical engineering profession. You can be a physician, you can be a software engineer, you can be a quality engineer, you can be a researcher, many type of functionalities you can look. And many times, you know, these people are in case to specifically connected with orthopedics and likewise, the prosthesis preparation, those who those who lose their limbs or legs and likewise, they are exactly the people preparing towards that specifically tissue engineering, genetic engineering, pharmaceutical engineering, clinical engineering, all areas you can definitely focus on. So biochemical, BME, biochemical based chemical engineering, bioelectrical based electrical engineering and computer engineering, biochemical based mechanical engineering. Look, all these areas are interconnected. So if you think that one specialization is going to fix you, I'm not sure about it. So you need to think outside the box and look at the possibilities in the market. Market decide your career as well as job. 
So most important thing, fix your career based on the job opportunities coming into market oriented one. So you can have a look on all these things. So when you look upon annual salary of biomedical engineers, when you look upon a career connected with income and likewise, medical equipments and supplies manufacturing, scientific research developments, pharmaceutical and medicine manufacturing, college universities professions, general medical surgery. You look upon the, the, the variations, is, but you can see over here, you, have, you are getting much amount of money which is coming from abroad. You can see over here, a lot of biomedical organizations, uh, they are exactly industries, they are exactly expecting your uh, role, keen role you, that you can play across. So at least in India and likewise, I can tell you that around, this is the package could be starting, but it will be moving towards very high package in the later side. But starters definitely will be getting a package like this. All right. So the other next specialization is connected with environmental engineers. You can see that they are into uh, the research. They are, they are there to protect the environment. Their basic role is connected with the best uh, waste management strategy, water waste management strategy, air pollution strategy, waterborne issues, diseases, all these things. They are exactly the people encased in. So they have to look at uh, the changes which these kind of spoilage has created uh, to the climate on the climate exactly. So you need to look at overseeing the constrictions or monitoring the use of facilities, inspecting operations, all these things. So many, many, many areas you can look into that these managers, these kind of engineers are looking into the drinking water treatment facilities, water quality assessment process, environmental regulations, chemical risk assessment, groundwater pollution, mass balances, hazardous waste management, all these areas you can think of your contributions are coming into the picture. So, but if you ask me how the career is connected, how the career and income is connected, if I can show you a medium manual in, in, in abroad, I'm telling you, it's a very huge amount of money waiting for you. Medical, uh, the median uh, annual salary uh, around 87,000 or $88,000 are coming into the picture. And 10% annual salary increase. And more than 137, you can expect Top annual salaries are coming. So I'm talking about the median is 87, but the less is 53,000. But this is not the case of India. India may be very less because it's population availability of manpower and likewise. But if you target a career abroad, I'm sure about this is going to give everybody profession. So an average level is coming up like this. Environmental engineers starting level to moving towards, moving towards and likewise. But this will be going, I'm, I'm just talking in an average level, but it is not purely connected with the income uh, really giving by the industry, a lot of other perks and commissions, all these things you are getting. So it is another uh, profession waiting for you. The third speciality is connected with the marine engineers and likewise. This is another uh, area where exactly I'm expecting a, 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 a huge growth exactly going to happen. And it is because of, because of the, uh, the, the ocean related studies, ocean related, Texts and likewise, you know, it's moving up like anything. Constrictions are under the sea, submarines, tankers, aircraft carriers, all these areas, these particular kind of engineers are encased. They are almost like a kind of uh, working as a naval architect. Exactly. So you have many, many role you can play across. You can act as a vessel manager, technical executive, cadet scholarship, technical superintendent, officers and sailors, Gulper and management services, chief engineer. Likewise, you look upon the different types of options available for you. In addition to a marine master or a fleet manager, you can you can have many options exactly. So the the thing is that when you fix a lifelong goals and likewise, what do you want to become? You want to be a merchant navy officer after the tech. You have to go towards merchant navy. Then you have to have a different set of goals. So the most important aspect is goal setting. If you are a marine engineer, you want to get into a chief engineer of marine, what you would say industry. You need to set your goals differently and your, 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 your career goals should be connected towards that. And if you look upon the companies, which are the companies which are closely uh, associated with these kind of engineering options for, the, for a better career. And likewise, I can tell you, Smec Automation Limited, American Cruise Lines, Marine Tech Designs Engineering Private Limited, GEMCO, GE, 
Carnival, TMC, or ITT Shipping, all these companies are exactly providing you a lot of opportunities. That I have mentioned, like the average package is moving up, but still you can see over here, it will be varied from industry to industry, from region to region, but I'm sure about it, but in the, in the long term, it's going to give an impact on. Another is connected with next speciality or specialization of engineer is civil engineers. To work for the government or the designing aspects or developing cities, smart cities or towns, and likewise, you have a very good option waiting as civil engineers. Usually people don't prefer, they, 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 they feel that in comparison with the civil engineering, the other engineering professions or specializations are quite good and likewise. So this is the feeling exactly. So that is not the right thing to be assessed upon. You, 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 need, to, you need to look at the possibility of uh, moving towards different, different, different sectors, exactly. So there, the civil options are coming into the picture. So uh, look at, you can you have the responsibility towards soil testing or cost estimates analysis or building material analysis. And these are the things exactly you can look into. All right, so different types of jobs available to you over here. It can be, it is the, this is the movement exactly. Coming to the application engineer side to database administration, civil, so analyst, assistant. So this will be moving towards this level and this will be moving to us. So this is a career progression, I can tell you. All right, so from the, this is exactly the movement, the trainees, junior engineer, security specialist, assistant civil engineers, analyst, civil engineer associate. So these are all moving towards the same cadre in the coming and moving towards finally the chief engineering officer's profession. All right, so you need to understand the career progression based on that you need to fix. Otherwise, you will be ending up such a kind of job which is monotonous and repeated in nature. Finally, you get demotivated. So if you ask me, how can I become with a master's degree in civil engineering, what can I become? This is the question. So you can become a construction engineer, structural engineer, building control surveyor, geotechnical engineer, transportation planner, or you can look into quantitative surveyor or water resource, but all these professions are waiting for you with a different package. So first you need to know that what are the job profiles of a construction engineer or a structural engineer or a water resource engineer. You need to look at connected with your civil engineering. Then you have to fix your learning curve. So the, 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 the mechanical engineers is the next one, next specialization coming into it. They're getting also getting good amount of money. Uh, in abroad specifically, you'll be getting good amount of money, but I'm not talking truly about what you would say in Indian scenario, populated country scenario and likewise. So they are, they are exactly the people engaged into designing effective tools or improving mechanical technologies, drafting the blueprints, all these things, they are engaged into this kind of things. So they have this target of getting into the mechanical uh, process and engaged into the mechanical surveillance. So you can get into any, any industry, everywhere these people can penetrate into. This advantage of this specialization. When you look upon mechanical engineering, scope and likewise, the power sector, the steel sector, the cement, the metallurgical, consumer goods industry, pharmaceutical, textile, glass, goods, the foods, food and food and what you would say, food and beverage, chemical industry, all these areas, these people are required. Their requirements are so high exactly. So here we need to look at the career pathways and where exactly we can fetch to. If I can show you the like design sector or production or sales, even BTEC with MBA sales are going because you have a better idea about connecting with the world, the knowledge that you get it from the industry or from the engineering. So you can easily, you can, if, if you are a kind of a sales manager of what you would say, uh, uh, the, what you would say, the industrial products and likewise, you are the best person because you know every nut and bolt and every, every, what you would say, uh, the, the sub products and the line of products and likewise, you can definitely capture the business. So you, it doesn't mean that you have to work always in industry as a, as a mechanical engineer. And you can also look on different professions where the mechanical engineering can move towards the management side and you can move into the sales and likewise. So the maintenance and the planning also, you have very good options waiting for you. 
So there, uh, the package exactly when you connect with and likewise, you can see over here, it is varied, but I'm telling you, you can, this is only an average level I'm talking about. You can count the double one or the triple one exactly. A good mechanical engine down the line, 15 to 20 years and likewise, their package is going very high level. In India also, uh, abroad also, it's going very high. So you can have a specialization connected with mechanical engineering that can also provide best of the jobs. So the next is connected with the petroleum engineers. I told you this is one of the topmost career waiting for you in petroleum, oil, and gas. This is sadly, they're exactly, you know, you have to work in offshores inside the, the seas and likewise. So maybe six months you're working, six months not, then or else two months working, then two months not. Likewise, it is happening offshore and onshore activities are happening. So depends on if it is offshore and likewise, your package will be very high. So they may experiment with new techniques, new technologies, or uh, they have to work closely with the geologist in the field what you say plan and obviously the drilling activities and likewise, this is exactly what you need to do. So uh, you, you are engaged with these kind of jobs specifically. So uh, what, are, what are the specific types of activities like oil and gas extractions, management of companies and enterprises, support activities, you can get a career over the engineering services or petroleum and core products. Um, it includes activities also. So different types of uh, what you would say a work environment waiting for you. If you want a job, of course, you can start with and then you can uh, move towards different verticals and learn uh, through job rotations and like this, you can get more idea about different skills and move on. So the top recruiters, if you ask me, global level, Exxon Mobil, Hardy Oil, Gas, PLCs, Conco Phillips, Total, Statoil, and Nexon, Shell, Petrobras, Chevron, and Adax. These companies are totally encased into what you say, top recruitment process. At the same time, here, the best top 10, if you ask me, uh, this is exactly going towards that. PetroChina, Sinopec, Saudi Aramco. This is one of the best, exactly, uh, the company you can target for your career also. And good income also, tax-free income will be getting. BP, ExxonMobil. Uh, what you would say, Royal Dutch, Total, all these top 10 companies you can target towards your job. But top uh, recruitment oil and gas, and specifically when you connect with the different uh, professions, project engineers, project planner, uh, project control, or, or else heavy equipment engineers, survivor drafter, all these are exactly the different types of allied jobs waiting for you. But here also you can become a lead electrical engineer, lead instrumentation engineer, rotating equipment engineer, steady state dynamics, solution process engineer. Look at different types. If you try to go with a little bit interdisciplinary, I'm sure about it, your chances of fetching your life goals or the career will be different. And once you get into that particular path, you can look upon the probabilities where their lack of people are there, lack of skills, oriented to functional, you can move towards that. This is another aspect. So top recruitment companies, if you ask me, they're all looking upon these kind of jobs, structural supervisors, structural senior designers, site HR, HR. if you connect BTEC and MBA with HR, and you specialize in oil and gas, after that you took BIT MBA in HR. Of course, you can become a site manager, slowly, 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 you can move towards that, you will be preferred. So different options, survivor, civil engineer, all these areas, top recruitment companies, they are all engaged towards that, all right? So the salary may be four to four points in India, if you could talk about, but in the down the line, 20 to 40 lakhs or 50 lakhs will be coming and more than that also sometimes. Uh, but this kind of salary you can expect in India. And the average is going up like this, petroleum engineers, all right? So uh, this is... One of the highest paid jobs, exactly, the oil and gas sectors. Project manager or drilling supervisors, you can see that the, these kind of jobs, construction managers, reservoir, these kind of jobs getting very high package at the same time, good career options also. So we need to target the new generation, young scholars of engineers, they should do that. Now he's connected with uh, uh, computer engineers with surface and hardware, develop test technology, focus on the computer games, business applications, all these are exactly their area. So they, they are into the more patch-ups and more upgrades connected with the uh, software and any kind of flows are happening and you are trying to rectify it. 
So if you look upon the STEM jobs, which is happening in US, I'm telling you 73% of the skill sets are mostly connected with uh, the computing exactly. You can see over here, which are the jobs coming into the picture. You can target it and a lot of software engineers, computer engineers are going to US. So they are into database administration, computing support, developers, analysts. You can see over here, 30% exactly going towards that. So software developers having a very good option. And you can see that software development industry is coming into at the same time support specialist also. So these areas, when you focus on, of course, you your like US career connected with the US company waiting for you. So a lot of a lot of uh, computer engineering jobs are available to you. It will be very difficult for you to fix towards which one is initially uh, good for you. But most important thing, during the time of your studies, you need to fetch towards what kind of job options I'm, I'm getting and that job profiles, job analysis to be done and the job descriptions to be analyzed, whether it is matching up with your passion and your life goals and likewise you test it. And finally, you fix any goals connected with uh, these kind of jobs. Of course, it will be helping you a lot. All right, so the average salary may be going up like this. It will be coming into initial stages and like this, it will be coming into like that. And finally, when you get into a very high level, of course, it's going up to more than lakhs and lakhs and lakhs. You can get it. This is exactly connected with computer. But the best companies, if you ask me, which are the companies uh, focused into, of course, Capgemini, Tech Mahindra, HCL Technologies, Enfasis, Adas, TS, TCS, Accenture uh, or Cisco, these companies, these companies are the company, all the companies which are located in the electronic city area, the Bangalore location, you can see all these companies presence over there and different, different types of package you'll be getting. Another is electrical engineers. They're also having a great probability uh, to get into like generation system, wiring, lighting, all these are your learning base or you might have already learned. So they package going up to around 85,000 plus USDs uh, abroad and likewise. And the package so high uh, in comparison with others, also some of the other environmental engineering and likewise in comparison with that, this is going up like anything. So you can start as a trainee, move towards associate engineer, and then moving towards engineers, senior engineer, project engineer, and senior project engineers. And these are the career progression waiting for you as an electrical engineer. So you need to fetch towards this level to this level to this level and likewise that's what i told you a young scholar or a, or a, or a student who passed out btech and likewise have to have that passion and the patience towards the learning and getting the right career options so a lot of companies are uh, hiring uh, alstom abb uh, and likewise you can see over here big big companies are into crompton Greaves, bajaj electricals in india siemens tata steel tata motors uh, Schweitzer and engineering, Jindal, all these companies you can see over here, they're all into electrical engineering career. So you can target on that. So the package, it may vary from maybe from the least skill to the high skills and likewise, you can see, but it, this, this will be varying from industry to industry with perks commission and adding up, adding up and likewise, you'll be getting very good uh, amount of money in the initial stages itself. So 1.5 to 3 lakh, one to two years of uh, experience, but 10 to 12 years, you can, you can move up to 10 to 15 lakhs or 30 to 40 lakhs in the long term. All right. So another is a particular wing called a very niche wing. A uh, lot many cannot find out because of the unsafe conditions that the risk associated with it is. So it's connected with nuclear power, nuclear energy, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and all kinds of functionalities connected towards management of that particular what you would say, buildings or constrictions or any kind of storages and likewise. So the chances of radioactivity very high, hence because of that people don't prefer, but the people who are preferring will be getting a good package. Also you can see all the US dollars and likewise. They are into design, fuel management, safety analysis, operations, testing, all these aspects they are engaged into. But if you ask me, the package which is going up in the a trend, a trend of package and a career I'm, I'm talking about, if you see over here, this is the package you can expect and wanted, but it will be moving to around 144 or $145, $1,000 exactly uh, 
connected with this industry. So there is a promising income and a promising career waiting for you. But the risk element, if you ask me, it is very high in nature. So people, those who are preferring, can go ahead with these career options and they can target some of the good uh, companies like Ontario, NL, Urenco, Orano, Siemens, Arizona, Rosatom. All these companies are specifically uh, getting, that means they are, they are, they are placing uh, the freshers as well as a little bit, what you would say, skill-oriented people, uh, they, they, you can target over here. So in India, and likewise, a lot of reactors and uh, different types of uh, nuclear energy or power companies are located in different locations, and the locations are having the industries. Definitely, you can have a say over here, these particular uh, companies. So around, you can see over here, 40,000 or 50,000, you may be starting, or 60,000, you may be starting, but it will be going towards 105,000 and moving towards lakhs and lakhs uh, yearly per annum. This is a nuclear prospects connected, nuclear connected engineering career uh, you may be having. So this is a range I'm talking about. And next is material engineers when you talk about. It, it is all connected with either plastics or ceramics or metals or composite materials and likewise. There also you have the high probability to move on and assess their usefulness and likewise, this is exactly. So ceramic engineers, composite engineers, or, or metallurgical engineers, plastic engineers, or semiconductors engineers, all these engineers are exactly the people uh, uh, working in material, uh, working as material engineers in uh, industries such as. So you can you ha have these options of these possibilities and try for that. And I'm telling you an average, an average of five to eight lakhs in two to years duration, but 10 to 12 years, you can move to 20 to 30 lakhs exactly connected to this engineering profession. So this profession also a promising career for you. Next is chemical engineer. It's very good income you'll be getting. And these professionals, they are, they are mostly into chemical production, byproduct treatment or manufacturing operations and likewise. So they do usually the routine test and routine analysis and give the reports to the Top, how much risk is not associated every day in the operational process and likewise. So if you look upon the chemical engineering job titles, you can have one day, if long duration and likewise, you can go towards uh, executive officers level, design engineers, development engineer, environmental engineer, maintenance, manufacturing process, production, or quality control, all these uh, areas, you can fetch your careers and likewise. And at the same time, it's a rewarding profession also. So you can have many companies, you can see over here, I pulled certain companies for you people to understand where the chemical engineers can apply. So here you can have Prag Paco or uh, what you would say, OMV, ExxonMobil, or you can go to Shell or any kind of things you can target. So list of companies in India, if you target, IOCL, BPCL, HPCL, MRPL, uh, Takipada, Refinery, ONGC, and CPCL, BOR, BOR. All these companies are specifically, and they are, they are looking upon the campus placements, and they're looking upon the gate scores, and they're looking upon little experience. So you need to, you need to do as many number of projects connected with, the, connected with the chemical engineering. During your studies, you need to focus at least in every semester, at least two projects are coming in uh, this particular related, that profession, then that will be counting at the time of your placement, how many projects you have completed. Take an example, five years duration, you completed around 10 to 12 projects. This is almost equal to one to two years of experience you are exactly gaining as a fresher. Got it? So the freshers also have the probability to go like that. So you must focus on that. So 10 chemical companies in India, like Pidilai, Chupiel, PI Industries, Arati, Coromandel, Naveen Florent, Vinati, Tata Chemicals, all this you can focus. Don't want to focus too much because time is running out. So this is the package you can get into. Aeronautical engineering is another profession waiting for you to do that. This is also flourishing like anything. All these uh, air bond related or air related industries, definitely you can target on that. So you can get a profession of aerospace engineer, avionics engineer, systems engineer, aerospace stress engineer, flight systems, testing engineer, flight test engineers. 
So you look at the possibilities you have as an aeronautical engineer. So the career, that's what it took. From the very beginning, I'm telling don't look at the jobs. Look at a career down the line, 10 years, what I would like to do. I don't want to change too much. I want to, I want to learn every step of enriched responsibilities of the particular functionality that you have to target. So many, many, many industries are focused on here. So you will be getting good amount of money from all these companies. They are the best brands available. You can target these companies and look at what are the career progression available? What, what are the positions available to you? How much income available to you? And likewise, that is the, that is, this is the time there you have to focus on that. So around five to eight lakhs initial level, but 30 lakhs to 40 lakhs to 50 lakhs will be coming in the coming abroad. I'm not talking about abroad, it's huge amount of money. You will be getting a good career with a good amount of package. Last but not least, but uh, software engineers also there waiting for you. They are also, I connected computer engineering, connected software engineering earlier, but still once again, they are the, they are the people getting high amount of money nowadays, a good, even though they are doing certain type of repeated jobs, but they try to find out the movement from one vertical to another with additional skills and additional knowledge and likewise, or else they move from one industry to another. So these professionals make you look for mathematics, computer sciences, and engineering skills to match up that. So they will be getting good amount. So you can entry level, you'll go with software engineering intern, software intern, entry level coordinators, and likewise move towards web developer, software engineer, software developer, and front end developer, and likewise moving towards the management level. And from there, the director level, and then vice versa. Many companies, many companies, highest, if you ask me, which are the highest paid, highest paid companies, you can look upon here. All the social medias you connected with, or all the retail media. Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook or Integral or Walmart, you look upon IT companies like the Oracle, all these are best companies you can get best package and career growth. So the Indian companies like TCS, Infosys, Mindtree, all these things also giving you possibilities. You can have lot, you can have a lot of companies when you connect with the company size and the, uh, the combination six exactly non-tech and tech companies, you can see over here the variations of income you're going to get it, all right? So related job salaries also, senior software engineer, software developer, senior software engineer, team lead, information, web developer, all these having, but you can, you can fix where exactly your passion is, where you would like to continue the same, and they definitely you can have these kind of packages. So in general, I can tell you that 20 to 40 lakhs for a 10 years plus, but 40 lakhs and like this, but one to two lakhs plus, two years of duration, you can get around uh, around five to 10, 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs. This is a profession exactly moving up now, data science with the support of uh, ML, DL, all these applications. And many companies are into the hiring data scientists, basically, that is also part of the engineering uh, options, which you can, do, can look into HP, Apple, Oracle, Dice, Morgan Stanley, Ericsson, Delight, and SAP. They are, they are exactly making use of data analysts because of the qualitative interventions with the data points generated with the support of these machine learning applications. And they're trying to look at the possibilities of descriptive analytics as well as a predictive analytics. So these are the companies you can target on uh, uh, artificial intelligence, specifically data science consists of blockchains also. They're also consist of artificial intelligence. Uh, if, if you look upon blockchain and artificial together, you can focus on all these companies like uh, JP Morgan, Uber, and KPMG, and likewise. But if you ask me salary of the difference between these two, you can almost see that blockchain professionals are getting around 107 package per year, but these people are much, much, much higher, getting around 123,000 plus and likewise. So the little bit variation, but I'm telling you, these two are the best of profession, best of career, next in the coming days waiting for you to join. So you can move from ML engineer to robotic scientist, to data scientist, to research scientist, to BI developers and likewise. This is exactly the movement and different variations connected to the package also you can see over here. So this is AI connected and software developers, solution architect, head analytics, you can move towards that. The package is going up like this. So you can also focus into data science applications, data engineers, and you'll be getting amazing amount of money as well as career together. And this is the professions you can focus. The top 12 highest paying blockchain jobs in India 
So it's, if it is not artificial, you can focus on uh, blockchain, where we can focus data consultancy, computer science cooperation, Capgemini, HC, all are their, their, their companies are located in Bangalore and you get Bangalore, different, different localities exactly, you can focus on that. So here it is coming, different, different types of jobs like blockchain developer, blockchain solution architect, blockchain project manager, blockchain UX designer, blockchain quality engineer, block. I'm not going to explain it all. This is your job. What are the things uh, coming under it? And you have to learn it properly and move towards your career. And your package, look upon different companies. The variation, I can tell you, TCS, it goes up to 8.6 lakhs initial level. Tech Mahindra, 11.5. Blockchain developers as Sulu Lab, it is coming up to 9.5 lakhs. And Cognizant, it is going to 10.5 lakhs. And IBM, it is going to 18.9 lakhs, Accenture to 11 lakhs, Vipro to 15 lakhs, and Accidents is going to 12.9 and 14, and likewise moving towards a very different, a prospective career with income is given to you by blockchain developers. Last but not least, digital marketers. Of course, if you want to get into there, you need to have BTEC plus MBA in marketing, specializing in digital marketing, that will be leading to these kind of jobs. So many companies are hiring, what you would say, digital marketers and likewise. So here you can focus into like Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, Filson, Microsoft, Facebook, Mintra, all these companies, I'm just giving you some sort of idea. You can focus on that, look into the companies and their options available. And the tech jobs is moving up like anything across the globe because of this COVID that accelerated the impact of technology. So the top job roles employees are looking upon nowadays is data analyst, digital marketing. So you can definitely get a very good career options and the core skills coveted by the employees, which include adaptability, the most important skill needed for an engineer. If you have a horn of, I'm an engineer, you're not going to get into anything. So the most important adaptable and just with this work culture and B, uh, you know, bow your spine is the time you have to bow your spine to get the learning. You can show your spine in the native day when you get a good career and likewise, till the time you're the learners. So you need to also have to look into your own development possibilities. So here, different core skills, developing people, adaptability. Top technology skills, if you ask me, uh, related to your profession, of course, if you can add up a certificate program in cyber securities or any kind of things, of course, it's going to work on you. So full stack developers are there. They are into PHP, Python, Ruby, Java. You can see over here, all the full stack. Here also, you can penetrate into that. We call it as full stack developers. So here, as a software developer, you can also get into. And you look upon the payment exactly coming, coming to that. You can see the full stack developers, mobile app, big data engineers, DevOps, data scientists, data architect, all these having a promising career not only in India, in abroad, in abroad, the packages may be around three times or four times. These companies are exactly into full stack developers, Apple, Oracle, Barclay, Cisco, Morgan Stanley, Uber, all these things. And last but not least, uh, what you would say, consulting firms. You can also, if you have tremendous, people, are, people are having 10 years of experience, all right, they get into uh, MBA after that tech plus MBA, then of course you can get into probabilities of consulting and jobs in PSUs, public sector, public sector uh, what you would say, uh, campuses you can get a lot like uh, BHL or BHEL, LIC, all these areas also they are expanding, gate scores where they can, you can also move towards that. A lot of PSUs recruitment, public sector units exactly, they, uh, you can airport authorities, or Delhi Electronic Regulatory Commission, Bureau of Indian Standards, where all these possibilities are there for you, even though you, as an engineer, it's not necessary you have to go to the functionalities and like this, you can definitely look into these kind of options in public sector also. So if you ask me the last ent entrepreneurship, this is the most important thing I would like to share you that it's not necessary you have to go into BHEL or or you would say uh, Apple or anywhere, you can start your own companies exactly. And we have a lot of tech people have given wonderful examples in India. Talk about Sachin Bensal, Flipkart, IIT Delhi person. He met uh, Bini Bensal and uh, finally developed the e-commerce platform, Flipkart. He, he faced a challenge and 
Indians were not comfortable with the concept of online shopping and likewise. So they're exactly now, uh, Mintra or Flipkart and all these people are penetrating. And Sachin Bensal is an amazing entrepreneur and tech entrepreneur you can, you can, easily, you can easily follow in India. Bhavish Agarwal, all are, the best example I can give you is graduated from IIT Mumbai. And you see that he initially worked with Microsoft but quit after two years to start his own travel and tourism business. And, but he got a very bad experience. The, the friends and likewise, they, uh, that means uh, cheated also. At the same time, renting a cab made him to see that opportunity in starting a cab rental company. And now see the Ola cabs. Vijay Shekhar Sharma, pay time exactly. Even though he got the partners cheated on him, still he had come up and uh, the gamble paid off. Finally, all the things go towards a very fruitful, uh, what you would say, financial product oriented company, pay times. So even I can tell you Warren Buffett is also invested in that company now, right? So look upon that pay time. Zomato, another example, IIT Delhi and Dipendra Goyal. Are there techies exactly? All the techies having the option towards starting up entrepreneurship, startup professions, etc. And they, they proved, of course, the hiccups very high, the risk very high. I told you, without risk, there is no career at all. You have to take the risk. If you don't want to take risk, okay, marry a job, retire 35 years with your pension, and you can. But if you really passion towards become a good techie or to, to prove your metal of competence, then amazingly, you have to take the risk and move towards that. And the last but not least, I'm giving you one example, Richakar Zivame. And a lot of people, it's very difficult to convince the ideas and likewise, but if you have the cognitive, the technical, and your networking skill, I'm sure you can. And some people, they are going for the second careers in engineering. Common second careers, if you ask me, project manager, patent attorney, technical writers, bank realtor, professors, landscape, all these professions also, as well, second career after certain years of life. So uh, when you look upon these options, and like I said, I'm telling you, things are quite, things are quite, uh, all, that means giving you a better offer for you to become a techie related, what you would say, uh, career growth oriented individual. So, but at the same time, we need to also look upon which are the popular certifications and popular courses after the BTEC to enhance the career, what are the things you needed also? I may tell you some of the some of these kind of certification programs. I'm not sure IFRB is, IFRP is providing. If IFR, IFRP is providing these certificate programs, you can register over there. You can get these kind of training programs and all these uh, extra certificate programs, if you can take up, that will be helpful for you to get into a good ladder. But the most important five steps to plan your career. That's what I would like to discuss. First of all, you make a self-assessment. Where you stand now after the completion or you're going to complete it, you completed, waiting one year. Any people look at your self-assessment, your strength, your weakness, your opportunities, and your, what you would say, threats connected. Always remember, you, you are a product in the market. You are a product in the sense that how much you can polish that particular skills, knowledge, aptitude. And people, when you when look at that product, you know, it's polished like anything and they immediately will be captured by the companies. So the most important thing, how many projects you have completed, how many extra experience you got it, how much you have exposed to the current jobs, how much you are abrupt with the global changes, how much you worked with the robotic application or any kind of things. These kind of things are creating a lot of impressions. So first of all, you make a self-assessment. And this is exactly a research. Second, that is first assessment, self-assessment. Soon after that, you make a research on the options available. And then you have to fix your specialized career or interdisciplinary ones. After that, set your goals. So first is self-assessment. Second is connected with research your options. Research your options. Third is set your goals. Then develop and implement the plan. Look at the companies exactly. Take around 30 best companies, 50 best companies abroad and India, and then chart it out, screen it. Finally, you have to review and adjust your plan towards that particular 
aspects. So that's all towards you today to connect with you as an engineer and a career. But last but not least, let me tell you which are the skills more important here. I'm telling you modern generation, if you are not adaptive, if you're not adaptive, the chances, even when you have a BTEC, I'm seeing that when I was, when I was in symbiosis long back, I was working as a professor. I was exactly part of the, the, the placement drives. So that particular time, even when having five years experience or 10 years experience, you completed your program. No, still people get rejected. The companies rejected these people. So most important thing, adaptability. You have to, first of all, adapt to the company, adapt to the vision and mission of the organization. Do you have that? And the next one is, are you abrupt with uh, managing the complexities, managing the uncertainties, or by managing the uncertainties and these complexities, are you ready for any kind of solution? All right, so can you work with the multicultural environment? People coming from Philippines, Japan, or Australia, US, they're all working together in this. So if you look upon as an Indian, and Indian culture is most, no, you cannot dominate others. You have to uh, adjust with everybody. And most important thing is teamwork, ability to work as a, as, as a group, group goals exactly. Of course, individual contributions may be different, but the group goals are there. Are you fit into that? Technical skills, cognitive skills, knowledge, this will only give you confidence. So that will be leading to leadership. So if you want to get all these things, acquire slowly but steadily all these aspects and get ahead towards your career. And that's all for you today. I exceeded 15 minutes that I have mentioned to you. I'm really sorry for that, but may not be coming back, but all the students and the scholars sitting over here, getting a good idea about the, the, the price tags, the career and your individual learn journey. Thank you so much. I, I finished, Thiru. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. So, Doc, uh, Professor Dilip, if you could just yes. grant the host access back to me. One minute, let me yeah. try for that. Just want to post it one. I'm just trying to log out, but I'm not able to, but let me let me just try. Okay, I'm back. Let me just try. Let me just try. Professor, mm. you could just uh, click on the participants list and uh, click on my name. And when you right click, you could find the option of giving me back the host option. I'm just trying. Okay, here it is. Let me just be back. Okay, I'm seeing the only the window. I'm not able to see. Mm -mm. Okay, what I can do? Here it is. Let me see. Let me see. Here it is. Something connected. Okay, here it is coming. No, this is not a really. I have to, this a little bit complications, but. Yeah, you could just click on the Zoom. Here. Okay, this is continuing. Yes. Otherwise, I will join back. Uh, no, Professor, you're the host. So if you are would be ending the session, then the session will be over for all of us. Okay. Uh, you could just, uh, you'll have Zoom below on your system. I mean, the Zoom would be open. 
Uh, so, okay, the same thing here. All right, uh, it's not a problem. We'll just continue hmm. on with this. So I would like to say to everyone, uh, thank you so much for joining us for the session. And thank you so much, Professor, for this very informative and very, very elaborately explained session. I think you've covered really well what are the fields and areas that as engineers they could go into and uh, you know try to differentiate themselves and make a very good living out of it. Thank you for all the information you've provided us. So on behalf of IFERP, I would like to thank all the delegates and the students who have joined us today. And I would like to extend our gratitude on behalf of IFERP to our esteemed speaker, Professor Dr. Dilip Kumar M for delivering the keynote address. To all the delegates who have attended us today, you can download your e-certificates from our IFERP dashboard. Uh, kindly, I would request all of you to give us a 24 to 48 hours time so that we could upload the certificates and you would be able to download them. So kindly give us the time. The IFERP dashboard link along with the feedback link will be sent to the chat box. And I would like to take this opportunity to share with you some of our upcoming conferences that we have. I'm going to be displaying it. So, Professor, if you could just unshare your screen, perhaps, and I could just that is, that is, the, that is the thing I am searching across. I'm not able to see you in could my be. window. Here, add pin or uh, spotlight everyone, hide, self view, choose virtual background, PDF filter. All right. Uh, so for more information about our uh, conferences and everything, so since we are unable to share the screen, I'm just going to inform you that on the 15th and 16th of July, we have the second international conference on the innovative research in engineering and technology. On the 20th and 21st July, we have the virtual third international conference on emerging trends in engineering and technology. On the 13th and 14th, we have the hybrid international conference on exploring colossal technical, technological advances of 21st century in science, engineering, and technology. For many more conferences and information, kindly please go ahead to our IFERP.in website and you could find uh, the upcoming conferences and events that we have. We have many more exciting events planned for you in the upcoming months. So please do not uh, forget to go through the website as well. So thank you so much once again to all. And uh, so take care. And on that note, so we will be ending the session. So Professor, you can just end the session from your Thank side. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, Professor, you have the Zoom option on the bottom of your taskbar. If you could open that and exit it, perhaps.